Is the Blue G9 Pro a good phone to buy? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here coming at you with my Blue G9 Pro review. So this device was launched several weeks ago and it's essentially an amped up version of the Blue G9. Now it doesn't exactly share the same build or the same body and really all it has is the name in common. Now I reviewed the Blue G9 a while ago and if I had known that the Blue G9 Pro was coming out a little bit later I would have kept it for a comparison but unfortunately I sold my Blue G9 about a month ago. But this is the Blue G9 Pro. It's currently being offered for $199. Definitely take a look at the link in the video description to check it out on Amazon and to see the current pricing for the phone because it's possible that it might have changed since the time that I made this video. Now this device is GSM unlocked, so it's gonna work really well with any GSM carrier in the US, including AT&T and T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile and Cricket, as well as smaller GSM carriers such as Mint Mobile and Straight Talk. Now the device features a 6.3 inch display at 1080p with a 19 and a half by nine aspect ratio. So a very good looking and clear display on this phone. Up top here, we do have a teardrop notch which houses the front facing camera, which is 24 megapixels. Now later on in the video, you will see photo and video samples from this device. So definitely keep watching for that. The phone features 128 gigabytes of internal storage with SD card expansion. We get wireless charging with the phone and we have a fingerprint sensor on the back. So we'll try that out right now. And that fingerprint sensor is very quick. Now also on the back side are the camera modules. So we have a triple AI camera on the phone with 20, 16 and five megapixel cameras. Now the main camera is actually the 16 megapixel camera. Then the 20 megapixel camera is for night mode and the five megapixel camera is to assist with the portrait mode. So this phone does have portrait mode, which is definitely a great thing to see. In addition to portrait mode on the rear camera, we also get it with the front camera and it does work very well. Now this device features four gigabytes of RAM. It has the MediaTek Helio P60 processor. So a very decent processor. It's one step below the Helio P70 though that's found with the Bold N1. But I did run an Antutu benchmark test for this device and this is the result that I got. Now for the CPU, we have a score of 59034 and then an overall score of 139654. So I understand that just looking at those numbers really doesn't explain much about the kind of performance that you'll get with the phone but you should definitely run an Antutu benchmark score with your current device and then compare those scores to the scores on the G9 Pro. And if the scores are pretty similar, then it's likely that you're gonna be pretty much getting the same exact performance with the G9 Pro. And if the G9 Pro has dramatically better scores, then it's likely that the G9 Pro will be an improvement over the phone you have right now. But from my personal experience, performance has been very smooth with the phone. The software is very well optimized and I'm very happy with it. You're essentially getting a budget flagship experience with the device. Now, video recording on the Blue G9 Pro maxes out at 1080p at 30 frames per second. And in a little bit, you'll see some samples of that. We get a beefy 4,000 milliamp hour internal battery with the phone and it runs Android 9 Pi, and we pretty much get a stock experience here with Pi. Blue really has not tweaked very much with Android for this. We do have some bloatware pre-installed like Opera, News, and some shortcuts to Amazon, Weather, Blue News, Facebook, Bing, and Yahoo, but all that can be removed, all of it can be uninstalled, so it's not really a problem in my eyes. So we have a really nice large display on here. It's great for watching video content. I'll actually do a YouTube demonstration in a little bit showing you also how the speakers work on the phone. But I'm a big fan of this. We do of course have a teardrop notch at the top, but it's a very small notch that really doesn't get in the way. Then on the bottom, we do have a little bit of a thicker chin, but not dramatically thicker. So I'm a big fan of the design of this device. Now taking a look at the left side of the phone, we have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. I'm actually gonna pop this open right now to show you what all we are getting. 
with this. So we actually get dual SIM compatibility with this slot. So you have the option of doing two SIM cards or you can do one SIM card and the micro SD card. And another thing I almost forgot to mention is that we get 128 gigabytes of internal storage with the Blue G9 Pro, which really is a massive amount of internal storage. And of course, if that's not enough for you, then you can always put a micro SD card into the phone. Now on the right side of the device, we have the volume button and we have the power button. Then on the top, we just have the noise canceling microphone. On the bottom of the phone, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the microphone, the USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and we have the speaker. Then on the back of the phone, we have this really cool design. I like this a lot. It's a favorite magnet, no doubt about that, but it does look really cool and unique. We have the fingerprint sensor, we have the flash, and we have the triple camera setup. So I like the design of this phone quite a bit. It does feel very sturdy and durable. It's a very solid feeling device. So Blue did a great job with the fit and finish and build quality of it. Now I do want to show you what all is included in the box here. So first thing, very cool looking box. Great job, Blue. You have some great artists. We have some sharks on the box. On the back side of the box, we have some of the specifications, but we've already gone over pretty much all of these. I guess I did forget to talk about the 96 megapixel mode, but essentially there's a special mode on this device that does interpolation, giving you photos that are 96 megapixels. So there's no actual 96 megapixel camera on the phone, but through software, you're able to get photos with 96 megapixels. But let's open this up. There we go. All right, and we'll just dump everything out right now. So the first thing we have here is the wall adapter. Now this wall adapter is 18 watt ultra quick charge. So you are going to be able to charge your phone a little bit faster than your typical charger. Another premium feature that this device does have, we have a USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. We have some headphones here that include a microphone. Now this microphone also has a button in the middle allowing you to play and pause content and take and end calls. We have a blue sticker here with the sharks on it. We have a clear TPU case. Always nice that we do get a free case included with the phone, so very cool. We have a SIM card removal tool, so if you don't want to use a paper clip like I use, you can use the included tool. And we get a tempered glass screen protector and a cleaning cloth, which is down here. So nice to see that we do have a free screen protector, a free case included as well, assuming you pay money and buy the phone, of course. But a lot of great little bonuses there with the Blue G9 Pro. So great job, Blue, with really packing in the value as you usually do with your devices. So I'm very happy about that, very happy indeed. Now this phone is great for all sorts of gaming, whether it's a simple older game like Temple Run or playing a game like Candy Crush or playing something more demanding like PUBG Mobile. Those games will work very well with the Blue G9 Pro. Really, the only game that won't work is Fortnite because Fortnite only works with certain processors and the MediaTek Helio P60 is one of them that's not compatible, at least at the moment, even though I'm pretty sure the processor would have no problem handling Fortnite. Now, if you're big into Instagram, then you're definitely gonna like the Blue G9 Pro. In fact, follow me at Kevin Breeze TV when you have a chance but Instagram is great on here. Having that nice, good looking 1080p display is great for viewing content. If you want to record content, this device is great for that as well as I'm doing right now. Crank up the volume here. That as well as I'm doing right now. A nice clear microphone on the phone too. And then when you wanna watch your stories, you can easily do that as well. So phone is great for content consumption. Speaking of that, I'm gonna to go to YouTube right now and pull that up. And what's funny is that I was just talking about Fortnite and now we have a Fortnite ad. Is that creepy or what? $199 would still be a decently reasonable price, but the point is that they've straight up lied about the specifications. So this phone gets very loud, very nice speakers on here, and I'm very happy with that. So it's a great phone for viewing content. You can watch it nice, crisp, clear 1080p. So I'm really happy with viewing YouTube videos on the Blue G9 Pro, and I'm a big consumer of YouTube content, that's for sure. Now the Blue G9 Pro has some really impressive cameras on it. This device probably has some of the best cameras that Blue is currently offering on the market. So I'm very happy with it, especially for portrait mode. It has really nice portrait mode, especially for a phone at 199. 
and it's good for video as well. I mean, it's good for pretty much everything. Of course, it's not up to the level of quality that you'd get with a flagship device, but this phone is dramatically cheaper than a flagship too. So you really have to take that into account. So I'm really happy with the quality of the photos and videos from the device, but let's now cut over to some video test samples. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with a test video with the Blue G9 Pro. So let me know what you think of the quality. Let's see if there's autofocus in video mode. And there is. Very smooth autofocus in video mode, actually. So that's a great thing to see. And here is Stefan from TechRite. What's going on, Stefan? How you doing, guys? Doing pretty doing good. Doing some coverage on the A20 and South Oh, yeah. Driver. We have all the phones today. Hopefully we don't get robbed. So let me know what you think of the quality. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here doing a test video with the Blue G9 Pro with the front-facing camera. And there's Stefan from TechRite. So let me know what you think of the quality with this front-facing camera. From what I can see in the viewfinder, it looks like everything is super crisp. So I'm pretty impressed so far. But of course, I've got to load it up on the computer, see how it looks on there to really judge how it looks. So in conclusion, I'm very happy with the Blue G9 Pro and I definitely recommend it. Now the $200 price range of smartphones is very competitive at the moment, but I really do feel like Blue has a winner here with the G9 Pro, especially compared to the G9. There's many ways I can tell that this phone is much better than the regular G9, and it's almost shocking that the two phones share the same name. Of course, having Pro at the end kind of signifies that this phone is better than the G9, but it really is a dramatic improvement. And that says a lot because the regular G9 is actually a really good phone. So you're not gonna go wrong with the Blue G9 Pro. It's one of the best phones currently offered by Blue based on the design, the amount of RAM you're getting, the very good processor, the beefy battery, 128 gigs of storage, and the fantastic cameras and good looking display. So there's a lot to like here. I certainly recommend it. I think Blue has really come a long way in a very short period of time because a year ago they were not putting out devices nearly as good as this one. But definitely let me know what you think of the Blue G9 Pro in the comment section below. But this is Kevin here, give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in buying this device, take a look at the link in the video description where you can get it on Amazon. And I will see you in the next video.